Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson Number 40, and this time we're solving word problems involving multiplication, and we're using line plots this time, which is not something that we've done recently, although we did do one lesson on line plots a little bit earlier here in this module. So let's take a look at uh, this problem. We'll look at problem number one. And this is a difficult uh, homework set for me to demonstrate for you because if I do the whole line plot for you, then there's really no point because you guys need to do some practice working on the line plots. And if I don't do the line plot completely, then I can't really model any of the questions in particular. So what I'm going to do to sort of split the difference here is I'm going to do part of the line plot graph and then I'm going to let you go ahead and answer the questions uh, that you need to answer. And those are the questions that you'll find in the homework on the subsequent page. That's questions number two through seven. But I'm just going to do part of question number one, create a line plot, and then we'll let you handle the rest. So let's take a look at problem number one. It says, the chart to the right shows the total monthly rainfall for a city. One, use the data to create a line plot at the bottom of this page and answer the following questions. Okay, so we know we need to create a line plot. Let's take a look at what we've got in our data. Let's see. Oh, we've got months of the year, so January all the way down to December, and we have different rainfall amounts. Let's take a look at what kind of amounts we have. Let's see. What's our low amount? Well, we've got 1 and 3 eighths over here. That might be the lowest one. Yeah, 1 and 5 eighths. So every month has at least one inch of rain. Let's see. Um, what's the highest amount? 3, 3, 3 and 7 eighths. Oh, we have a 4, but it doesn't look like we go any higher than this one, so we don't go all the way to 5. So we don't go any lower than 1, and we don't go any higher than 5. So I think I'm going to do my line plot. Let's see, I'll do that lower on the page. I'm going to do my line plot from, let's say, 1 up to 5. Let's see, so 3 will be in the middle, 2 will be here, 4 will be here. And I think that will encompass all of our data, because we don't have any data points here that we need to plot on our line uh, our line plot that are outside of these numbers. And I think what I'm going to do for you today is I'm just going to plot the, the J months. I'm partial to the J months because my own birthday is in January um, and one of my brother's birthdays is in July. So I'm going to do the J months. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to plot January's rainfall was 2 and 2 eighths. Okay, well let's see. 2 and 2 eighths. So I know I need to divide up my space between the 2 and the 3 into fourths and then into eighths. And then I'm going to count out to 2 and 2 eighths. And I'm going to make my X right there. I'm going to go ahead and label this as rainfall in inches. Just so people stumbling across this line plot will know what it is. Let's see, what's my next J month? Let's see, my next J month is June. Oh, okay, and I've got 2 and 1 fourth. All right. Well, two and one fourth. Oh, wait a minute. Two and one fourth and two and two eighths are the same thing, right? Let's see. Two, and then if we divide that, that's two and a half. So that must be, yep, same thing, right? So two and one fourth is actually right there. Same thing. And what's my last J month? July. Three and seven eighths. Okay, so again, I need to, I'm going to need to divide my space between three and four into eighths. So let's see, that's halves, quarters, then eighths. And I need to go all the way out to 3 and 7 eighths. So that's 3 and then 7 eighths. So almost all the way to 4, but not quite. There we go. There's 3 and 7 eighths. Awesome. Well, I've gotten you started, but I think that should give you more than enough uh, information for you to fill out February, March, April, May, August, September, October, November, and December. And then you'll get to go on to the subsequent page where we have questions 2 through 7 that ask you various questions about the line plot that you've made here in problem number one. I'm going to leave you to do that work uh, since it's difficult for me, like I said, to do those questions without having done the whole line plot. And I don't want to get in the way of you doing some of the line plot yourself now that I've gotten you started. So thanks for joining me on another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.